Lisa, what time do you usually go to bed? Oh, I follow a fairly set routine when it comes to bedtime. I go to bed around 10 p.m. every night. How about you? I tend to stay up a bit later, but lately I've been thinking I should try to get to bed earlier. I've heard it's good for overall health. It definitely can be. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine can help regulate your body's internal clock and improve sleep quality. That makes sense. I've just been struggling to unwind at night, so I end up staying up later than I should. Maybe you could try some relaxation techniques before bed, like reading, meditating, or taking a warm bath. It might help signal to your body that it's time to slow down. Those are great suggestions. I'll give them a try and see if it helps me get to bed earlier. It might take some time to adjust, but once you establish a routine, your body will likely start to recognize when it's time to sleep. I hope so. It would be nice to wake up feeling more refreshed in the mornings. Absolutely. And if you ever need someone to hold you accountable or just want to chat before bed, I'm here for you. Thanks, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Maybe we can check in with each other each night to see how we're doing with our bedtime goals. That sounds like a plan. Let's support each other in getting the rest we need for a healthier lifestyle. Lisa, what time do you usually go to bed? Oh, I follow a fairly set routine when it comes to bedtime. I go to bed around 10 p.m. every night. How about you? I tend to stay up a bit later, but lately I've been thinking I should try to get to bed earlier. I've heard it's good for overall health. It definitely can be. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine can help regulate your body's internal clock and improve sleep quality. That makes sense. I've just been struggling to unwind at night, so I end up staying up later than I should. Maybe you could try some relaxation techniques before bed, like reading, meditating, or taking a warm bath. It might help signal to your body that it's time to slow down. Those are great suggestions. I'll give them a try and see if it helps me get to bed earlier. It might take some time to adjust, but once you establish a routine, your body will likely start to recognize when it's time to sleep. I hope so. It would be nice to wake up feeling more refreshed in the mornings. Absolutely. And if you ever need someone to hold you accountable or just want to chat before bed, I'm here for you. Thanks, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Maybe we can check in with each other each night to see how we're doing with our bedtime goals. That sounds like a plan. Let's support each other in getting the rest we need for a healthier lifestyle. Why does Sarah express a desire to go to bed earlier? Why does Sarah express a desire to go to bed earlier? Lisa, what are your plans for the weekend? Oh, I'm looking forward to catching up on some much-needed rest. On weekends, I like to sleep in and recharge. That sounds wonderful. I could definitely use some extra sleep myself. Lately, I've been feeling so tired by the end of the week. Tell me about it. It seems like we're always on the go during the week, so weekends are the perfect time to slow down and relax. Absolutely. Do you have any special morning routines when you sleep in? Well, I usually start with a leisurely breakfast and a hot cup of coffee. Then, depending on the weather, I might go for a walk or just spend some time relaxing at home. That sounds so nice and laid back. I think I need to adopt a similar approach. I've been feeling like I rush through my weekends trying to fit everything in. It's important to prioritize self-care, especially on the weekends. Giving yourself time to slow down and enjoy some downtime can make a big difference. You're right. I think I'll follow your lead and focus on relaxation this weekend. Maybe I'll even treat myself to a lazy morning in bed. That sounds like the perfect plan. Remember, it's okay to take time for yourself and recharge your batteries. Thanks, Lisa. I needed that reminder. Lisa, what are your plans for the weekend? Oh, I'm looking forward to catching up on some much-needed rest. 
On weekends, I like to sleep in and recharge. That sounds wonderful. I could definitely use some extra sleep myself. Lately, I've been feeling so tired by the end of the week. Tell me about it. It seems like we're always on the go during the week, so weekends are the perfect time to slow down and relax. Absolutely. Do you have any special morning routines when you sleep in? Well, I usually start with a leisurely breakfast and a hot cup of coffee. Then, depending on the weather, I might go for a walk or just spend some time relaxing at home. That sounds so nice and laid back. I think I need to adopt a similar approach. I've been feeling like I rush through my weekends trying to fit everything in. It's important to prioritize self care, especially on the weekends. Giving yourself time to slow down and enjoy some downtime can make a big difference. You're right. I think I'll follow your lead and focus on relaxation this weekend. Maybe I'll even treat myself to a lazy morning in bed. That sounds like the perfect plan. Remember, it's okay to take time for yourself and recharge your batteries. Thanks, Lisa. I needed that reminder. What does Lisa usually do on weekends? What does Lisa usually do on weekends? Hey, Lisa, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not much, just the usual routine. Why? What's up? I was thinking of catching up with you. Maybe we could do something fun together. That sounds great. What did you have in mind? How about going for a hike on Saturday morning and then grabbing lunch somewhere? Oh, I wish I could, but I do grocery shopping on Saturdays. It's become sort of a routine for me. Ah, got it. Well, how about we do something in the afternoon instead? Maybe we could check out that new cafe downtown. That sounds like a plan. I've been wanting to try out some new coffee blends. What time were you thinking? How about around 2 p.m.? Gives us some time to relax after your shopping. Perfect. I'll text you once I'm done with my groceries, and we can head out from there. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. Hey, Lisa, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not much, just the usual routine. Why? What's up? I was thinking of catching up with you. Maybe we could do something fun together. That sounds great. What did you have in mind? How about going for a hike on Saturday morning and then grabbing lunch somewhere? Oh, I wish I could, but I do grocery shopping on Saturdays. It's become sort of a routine for me. Ah, got it. Well, how about we do something in the afternoon instead? Maybe we could check out that new cafe downtown. That sounds like a plan. I've been wanting to try out some new coffee blends. What time were you thinking? How about around 2 p.m.? Gives us some time to relax after your shopping. Perfect. I'll text you once I'm done with my groceries, and we can head out from there. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. Why does Lisa decline Sarah's suggestion for Saturday morning? Why does Lisa decline Sarah's suggestion for Saturday morning?